This is Cheryl Johnson. Join me for a behind-the-scenes glimpse into creating abstract art and what it means. Strictly speaking, the word abstract means really to separate or withdraw something from something else. The term can be applied to art that is an object or a figure or a landscape or is this simply painting your emotions and your feelings, creating form and color? It is also applied to art that uses forms, geometric shapes, or gestural marks. All art consists largely of elements that can be called abstract. Abstract elements of form, color, line, tone, and texture. Abstract art can create a profound impression on a viewer, even if it is not explicitly pointing to some specific thing. Abstract works allow people the freedom to assign their own meaning to the work, while having a dramatic impact on the individual who is viewing it. I call myself occasionally an abstract artist, although my foundation began in realism. All I know is that I love to paint and I love to create. I love color and I love painting and the act of painting. Let me share more with you. William de Kooning said, every work of art is abstracted because the artist must bend the laws of nature to fit the laws of art. In other words, what we see and how we interpret what we see is based on our emotions. We manipulate color, line, form, and space, but yet it is still representational. Good abstract art has a message, they say, or a concept or something deep beneath the surface. Even though the technique may seem simple, it emerges from a place of deep thought and great meaning. What defines great abstract art? They say that great abstract art evokes emotion or creates a sense of balance or harmony. Since an abstract artist doesn't always use literal image or a scene. Everything they express on canvas comes from inside of them, directly from their imagination, but interpreted from what they see. Although you can see the sensuality of the surface, if you look closely, both abstract and non-objective art reward the patient viewer with a surprise because way beneath the color you see layers of emotion. Abstraction is a process, not really a style, because if you say you're an abstract painter, what does that mean? It's like saying you're a baker or a chef or a cook. It doesn't mean anything until you taste the outcome. If you're a baker or a chef, the proof, as they say, is in the pudding. To abstract means to remove, which implies you must remove something. But in reality, to abstract is to change your reality. Art is skill and imagination. When combined successfully, take the viewer to another place that allows their imagination to be expanded. Matisse said, I don't paint things. I only paint the difference between things. This painting I entitled Glorious Expectations. 
Working on a grand scale creates jubilant joy and expectations in me. I think about the words, glorious. Glorious is having a striking beauty or splendor that evokes feelings or delighted animation, says Webster. Expectations, however, is the act or the state of expecting, of looking forward or anticipating. It's an expectant mental attitude, a high pitch of expectation. Something expected is something you look forward to. This piece is part of a series of large-scale paintings. Creating art is a perfect way to challenge and test our human perception. Investing in a large-scale painting allows you to make a statement in your home. You exercise power to amaze or simply to inspire. Enveloping and astounding the viewer and dominating interior spaces by large-scale paintings create a wonderful impact. As an artist, I use size to share glorious expectations. I hope you've enjoyed this behind the scene view of talking about abstract paintings, and I encourage you please to go to my website, CherylJohnsonArtist.com, to see more of my paintings. Thank you for taking the time to spend a few moments with me. This is Cheryl Johnson. I'm an artist.